Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Welcome back to another hashtag TTH unboxing and review. Right guys, let's dive into it, shall we? And apologies once again for being so absent recently. Um, yeah, a lot going on career-wise and uh, also been busy trying to catch up on my pile of shame, I must say. So, but never, never fear. I'm always going to have time to update you guys on what I'm doing. The next update you will possibly see is that gaming board that I did, the Urban one, and I'm currently working on the World War One board going on at the back there, as you can see. But for now, let's dive into the newest addition to my Bolt Action Allied Forces, M10 Wolverine Tank Destroyer. You guys can let me know down below in the comments if you know any history about this particular tank, or um, you can let me know if it's your favorite one. Those of you who play Bolt Action can let me know if it's good, if it's not. Either way, I've been wanting the model for a while, decided to pick it up today. So what can we say about the box art? Well, great, nothing too too hectic going on here. It's kind of wish it included two tanks, but uh, whatever. It gives you the one model in the box, as it says on this side. Um, your play sheet, your water slide decals to add to my pile of decals, and then the unit card. So if we flip this around, it gives you the different schemes. Um, if the tank served in Italy is the British M10, we've got the camouflage pattern that includes a British and American cruise, and then of course the um, tank destroy version in the winter wash. I personally am going to go a bit closish to this scheme because it is going to be used for my Canadians. I'm going to check my history though to see if the Canadians did use these things. If not, like I said, it's going to go for more for my European theatre allied army. Um, I collected one of these in my 1 in 72 scale. Um, collection and I love the model and I've been needing a proper tank destroyer, dedicated tank destroyer for my games. So let's crack this open and I will be right back. And we're back. So it has been unpacked pile of stuff. So this is your damage markers, smoked out, um, abandoned flame and burnt out and destroyed. I've got a pile of those that I need to get working on. More importantly, the card. Let's Dive in, let's focus camera, please. Oh goodness guys, I do apologize. There we go. So, there we have it. Allied tank destroyer, mid-war to late war. Inexperienced, 144 points. Uh, regular, 180. And veteran, 216. Not bad, not, it's not too hectic on points, I must say, for a tank destroyer. And then what do we have here? Special rules, of course, open topped. Uh, may add a pintle. Um, range 72, heavy anti-tank gun, pendant plus 6, not bad at all. Damage value 8. Yeah, what can we say about this tank? I mean, it wasn't, it's against infantry, you just know. Um, that's why you can add its pintle. But in general, it was used as a dedicated tank destroyer. And I've watched a few documentaries on these. They, they did their job. I mean, out of all the different tank destroyers that came out, Allied and Axis sides, I mean, you guys can let me know down below which was your favorite tank, which was your worst tank. And give me some, throw in some info about this one, guys. Please let me know. So that's moving on to there. And then we have the sprue. I'm not going to unbox, uh, take the plastic off the sprue just yet. Um, I'll be building this later. I've actually got to finish this before Saturday if I can. Um, so yeah, there's the, the hull. Not fairly large. Um, and then your crew figures in the top there. And then the bottom piece. So two sprues, guys. Not too bad. You can build this. One could build this pretty quickly. And then I think you've got your two um, gun turret types, I assume. Unless those are both for one turret. Yeah. And then, of course, what else do you get in the box set? You get your manual, which is very straightforward. Not too bad there. Adding the pintle, definitely going to do that. And then, of course, just a little leaflet from Bolt Action and Warlord about some of the other models and then telling you about Italieri. So, guys, that is the whole unboxing. Um, can't say much more. That's what you get in this box right over here. Those of you that have the model, let me know what it's like, if you've used it in games. And those of you that are just fans of Bolt Action, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, guys, I try and keep you informed with these um, unboxings as I go along. There will be more on the way. Um, right now, I'm up to my sixth 
painted by me, Bolt Action Army. I'm planning on my seventh, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to be bolstering my current forces and filling in what units they need, what they're lacking, what weapons they're lacking. I am a tank man, I must say, so even if it's just collecting the model and using it on the odd game, don't mind at all. But otherwise, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It was very brief on a teeny bit of a time limit for this video, but I hope you otherwise enjoyed the video. And like I said, I see my subscribers are slowly climbing up. Thank you very much to my followers and my fans, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. Until the next video.